welcome everybody to a breaking report from Jerusalem's Gate. We have some very disturbing news that's breaking coming out of Germany. Uh, several dead after vehicle hits group of people in Germany. Uh, evidently there was a driver of a minivan that plowed into a group of people. Three or four are dead. Six or uh, around six are in critical shape. A total of 20 that was uh, reported injured. Uh, this is very disturbing news that they're handling it as a possible terror attack. Uh, could be domestic, uh, could have uh, terrorist connections. I uh, got a video here and this is very disturbing news. And our, our hearts and prayers go out to the people of Germany. Uh, let's see, let's get this news for you right now. Let's blow up the screen and get this video out to you right now. Anna Noriskovic, she is on the phone from Berlin and joins us now. Anna, what can you tell us about this incident? Hi, Irina. So in um, at around 3.30 local time, so in the afternoon, uh, a minivan ran into a crowd of people in um, the city of Münster, which is located in uh, the western part of Germany and in, in the, the state of North Rhine-Westphalia. And... Uh, the driver shot and killed himself right after he ran into the crowd of people. Around um, 20 people were uh, injured. Six of them were critically injured and are now um, being treated, and all of them are treated in hospital, but six of them are, are in very critical condition. Uh, right now, what we have confirmed, four people were killed uh, in the attack. So far, we don't know um, if, if this was a terror attack, if the investigators, the police, um, they're treating it as a, or investigating towards a terror attack, treating it as a terror attack, because so far it looks like one since um, the driver killed himself, he shot himself right after he ran into the, the crowd of people. And um, now we are waiting for, for more uh, confirmed information because, um, yeah, the operation is ongoing, the investigation is ongoing. And I understand the operation is ongoing, but have you heard from any eyewitnesses on the ground? Did the shooter say or do anything in particular? Uh, what, what, what was it like there on the ground? So, uh, so far, we don't know if, if the shooter um, shouted anything. So far, no, no witnesses um, have said something like that, because also uh, what we know is that the, the driver, the attacker, um, killed himself right after. So, um, yeah, so and Anna, we, we, like that. Uh, we know that Germany is, is not a stranger to these vehicle attacks. There was one uh, market attack in Germany not too long ago during a Christmas market area there. What can you tell us about how concerned German authorities have been about this type of an attack? So, uh, it's, yeah, especially after the, the Christmas market attack in 2016, um, authorities um, and people are very concerned about those kinds of attacks, especially um, because they're so unpredictable. And, um, yeah, a day-to-day a day to day, uh, or cars and, and minivans or vans and, and um, yeah, are, are being weaponized. So um, people are very concerned. And in, in Berlin here, around the Christmas market, they set up... Um, the concrete barriers to try to prevent vans or, or cars ramming into into people. So far, of course, this this measure was not implemented in the whole of Germany, um, and especially not in small towns like Münster, for instance. So can you tell us a little bit more? That Christmas attack happened in Berlin. This happened in a town, Münster. How far away is that from, uh, from Berlin, and, and what do we know about this area? So Münster is um, on the other side of Germany, uh, so in, in, in Western Germany, which is around well, 600, 600 kilometers away. And it's a very, it's a, it's a smaller town, around 300,000 people uh, live there, very neat, very idyllic. Uh, it's located by the Rhine River. And now um, we, right now all across Germany, we have wonderful weather with um, the, the first real, real day of spring, in fact. And um, people, of course, gather in the city center to, to enjoy, uh, yeah, their, their Saturday. So when you talk about this attack and you talk about the concern that law enforcement has, we know this is an ongoing operation. Is there a sense, and uh, just based on what we've seen in the past of these type of attacks, what the German authorities might be doing at this very moment? So right now, of course, they're trying to, to find out the identity of, of the attacker and trying to see if they already have a file on, on, on this person. 
Um, and then they're trying to see if, if this person is attached to some terror cells, which are also, there are two big terror cells in, um, in Western Germany. Uh, so most likely they're trying to, to find out or to, to, to see uh, his, yeah, find out his identity and trying to connect it to, uh, to terror cells. Journalist Anna Noriskovich, thank you so much for joining us, Anna. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's very disturbing news, extremely disturbing. But it's the signs of the times we're living in, the end days. Uh, let our prayers be for the people of Germany and the families uh, comforted somehow uh, that passed away. Three or four have uh, been killed and uh, like a half a dozen are in critical condition, a total of 20 wounded. And uh, let's uh, really circle the wagons for better terms and uh, pray for the people of Germany. This report is coming uh, originally from Reuters. And uh, I pray that uh, the family's comforted. In the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth, amen.